I want to move on a little bit to the, this show, the Neo Replicant show, and 3D printing, sculpture, and, and what you do. Because um, I think the, the music, we'll come back to music, and uh, the, the music industry and the current situation with the internet, and what we're allowed to do as a, as a radio show. But I, I think that um, television or video could also represent uh, fine art or graphics or sculpture or what, however you want to describe it. The, the, the kind of content that, that currently exists in galleries most of the time. Mm -hmm. Because um, some of it is relating to social media, to, to the web, the way those kind of things are distributed. But at the same time there's a lot of conventions which are uh, still relate, relating to galleries, which I, I guess are similar to record companies in the way they represent artists. Yeah. Um, yes, for example, in Cork Street in London, that's famous for sculptural galleries, and that's about to be knocked down and uh, taken over for redevelopment, and where the gallery is going to go. Um, I'm like, one of my fantasies is to have a, a, an online gallery and call it Cork Street, but to <laughs> carry on it, um, sculpture which will, um, one would be able to look at and interactively turn them around according to which view you as an individual want to see. Um, there are huge technical problems in achieving that. But um, that, that would be an example, I think, um, of what you described, where um, different technologies come to the fore and take over the role of, of um, the status quo, of, of what we um, had presumed was the way of doing things. So an online gallery replacing um, a, basically a bricks and mortar so-called shop front which has a gallery in it. Could, could you explain a little bit what, what you do, the, the, the scanning operation? That, because you, you, yeah. that's, that's the, 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 we're talking generally about what's, what's around the, the current mm -hmm. Neo Replicants show. Yeah. But could you just go into a little bit of detail on, on what, what, the, what the scanning operation is that you, that you yes, offer? Yes, sure, sure. Um, scanning um, is... There are various ways of doing it. Uh, I won't go into technical detail, but um, if, you, if you imagine a radar um, uh, which can pick up objects um, above the ground like aircraft, you know where the aircraft is, you can see from the ground where the buildings are, and you can see the aircraft um, in relation to those buildings. You, you pick up the geometry of it in three dimensions. Now, a scanning uh, device, I have two of them, one is laser driven and the other is um, based rather like a cine camera and it use, uses something called triangulation uh, to actually work out exactly where, how close certain points on a surface are. Either of those things will effectively take a three-dimensional photograph in terms of the geometry. So, uh, that's an important point, just the geometry. And so you will be able to define the shape of something and as that is collected by the, the, the 3D camera that is translated into a digital file, like an MP3 file, um, but it actually the data explains and defines the, the shape that's been photographed. Now, um, to date, all that's picked up is the geometry. The, what I'm working on at the moment, getting quite some success, is then capturing high-resolution color photography, which you can then map onto that shape, so that you have a definition of uh, the, the, the overall piece and you can virtually turn it around as if it, the piece were inside the computer or the mobile phone, the smartphone, and you'd be able to look at it from all angles. And why one does that, um, there are a list of reasons which I won't bore you with, but we'll come back to it later. But that's what I do, and the essence of my business is to try and pick up on the technology which has been used in engineering for so long and bring it across to, to serve the arts, to serve the arts and museums and... Um, and also the in the commercial world to put products online and in galleries so that you can look at them from all around to get different views and appreciate them better get involved with what they are OK, well I think we, we should have a bit more music now we will come back to those, those points what, what's the next track you brought with you? well having had some Chicago blues I was thinking of um, a guy called Tony Joe White who um, was in his um, he was about 25 when he played this he never really featured much in the UK, but he was, um, he was re really um, uh, one of the, the top players in the, in the 70s in, uh, in France. Uh, he had a huge following, which is funny because really he came from um, the southern states of the USA. And what he um, 
excelled in was it's called Swamp Music and this is called Poke Salad Annie and I needn't say much more because he explains it early on in the first few lines. And uh, 